All right, so now what we need to do is this. We've got all our birds that we've been walking around and tallying up as part of our divers, swimmers, and waders. Okay, now we need to do this. You need to look at your table. It's called Water Bird Counts at Five Survey Sites. Okay, and I'm helping you fill that in. What happens normally is bird twitches, which are anthropologists. I always struggle with saying that word. I'm not even sure if that's how you say it, but basically they're... They call them bird twitches or bird experts. They use birds measuring the abundance and distribution of birds across the 15 different Penrith lakes. At 5.30 in the morning, they agree, and for five minutes, they count every lake. So if I was here, I'd be doing lake five, which is in bold for you. We've wiped all the other data just so we can show you the method, okay? And basically, I would just count every bird that I see, what species it is, and how many of it. Okay, raw information. Then they can compare different sites, what works at one, what doesn't work, why is one better or healthier than the other, and so on. So they use birds as bio-indicators, and the syllabus dot point says you need to know of how to measure abundance and distribution, and this is how we measure abundance and distribution of birds. So, going across horizontally, that row will tell you the abundance and distribution of individual species, like the Australian grebe here. Okay, Australian grebe going across. So, uh, today we saw how many grebes. So I go back to my tally and I look for my grebes under my divers. I saw two grebes. So I put in table five, two grebes. Now, for all the sites, for all the sites, lake one, two, three, four, and five. What's the total abundance of the grebe, Australian grebe? So it's one plus two is three. That's our total abundance. Distribution across how many lakes did we see the Australian grebe? So, or at how many lakes did we see it? We saw the lake three and lake five, so the distribution is only two lakes, okay? Total abundance across all five lakes is three, and distribution is across how many lakes? Across two lakes. Now. Going across, that will tell you the individual species. We're not going to do every single one of those, uh, abundance and distribution, but just shows you the method. So I, as a scientist, I can work out how many Australian grebes are there in Lake 5, okay? And how many are there across all the five lakes? So going down, did we see any Australian wood ducks? No, we didn't, so zero. Black swans? No, we didn't today, zero. Stilts? No, zero. Dusky moorhen? Yes, we saw... Uh, how many dusky moorhens under our swimmers? Here we go, three. I saw three dusky moorhens. Coots, saw plenty of coots. Tally was six. Okay, so six coots. Great egrets, yes, we saw two of them. Little black cormorants, yes, we saw 14 of those. Uh, little pied cormorants, we saw two of those. Pacific black duck, zero. Pelican, zero. Purple swamp hen, yes. We saw how many of those? One. Uh, spoonbill, zero. Whiteface heron, zero. Today, and data is our other bird. Those pair of, pair of two datas. So data, I'll just put data there. And I'm going to say two. Okay. Now, what's my total abundance for lake five. I've got to add up all my birds. So two plus three is five, plus six is 11, plus two is 13, plus 14 is 27, plus two is 29, 30, 32. So my total abundance for this lake, the final basin, which is our study lake, is 32. Total species, that means how many different types of birds total species so we got one two three four five six seven eight eight species in total now the going downwards so going columns vertically it tells me for all of lake five what's going on how many different types of birds so different species and how many of those individual species there are so that's called biodiversity now if i go to lake one and i go three plus four okay that's seven, and it's only two different species, so the swamp hen and the wood ducks, seven and two. Now I've got to ask myself the question, which one is healthier, which is our first our overall depth study question. What are the birds telling me? Which one's healthier now, lake five here or lake one? 
and I would say like five is healthier because it's got 32 more abundance but not only that they're not all the same species there's eight different species as opposed to seven and two okay so that tells me there's more different species means there's more different food chains birds are eating different things you've got the divers diving and fishing for birds you've got swimmers that will graze on the grasses they're herbivores and then you've got the waders that will go with their long legs around the shallow ponds and pick off ponds now so they eat different things again so all these birds these eight different types of species of birds are eating different things different food chains so that tells us a story about like five and we can now start to conclude that birds are telling us that this is actually quite a healthy ecosystem compared to lake one